Hi. <laughs> We're in the green and the orange because I'm an equal opportunity celebrator of Irish heritage. Like that white stripe in the middle. The white stripe in the middle? So, whatever. Okay. So anyway, hopefully you guys can hear me okay as I have this somewhat in the background. Um, but, uh, you know, every time I try that, it ends up overwhelming, so I'll go ahead and stop. But anyway, tomorrow's St. Patrick's Day. Happy celebration of Celtic and Irish heritage, or whatever it is that the day means to you. For me, tomorrow it's going to mean pubbing it up with Celtic music and pubbing comestibles. All right, so welcome to the Irish vlog of 3-16-2014. Oh, you know, this is the whole thing in the Irish accent. How about that? That'll be a nice way of, of, of having fun with this. First off, my lady Catherine, kangaroo. All right, there. <laughs> That's taken care of. All right. Didn't want to forget that. Uh, the big night tonight, the big news tonight is uh, uh, our GoFundMe campaign, which link down below in the show notes. But you can also go and find it at www.gofundme.com slash Big Denver Adventure. GoFundMe.com slash Big Denver Adventure. What that is, is a way for you to help us, me, her, the fuzzy one, and the wee one, and Ross Watson, who's not the fuzzy one, the fuzzy one's a dog, uh, move to Denver, Colorado, which is going to be the land of extraordinary opportunity for all of us, a uh, fantastic gaming community. We're going to come to Colorado, bringing lots of gaming wonderfulness for everybody who's living there. Uh, and it's not just a matter of give us money. We're actually giving you really fun things. Uh, let me see here. Uh, for uh, $5, we say thank you, and I'll buy you a drink sometime if we ever meet. $10, a free PDF of anything that Evil Beagle Games sells. A PDF, you can have it for $10. Uh, if you donate $25, uh, you get to pass to a mini con that we'll uh, be pursuing on at one of the game stores there in Denver once we get moved. Uh, free pass and uh, you know lots of fun stuff there. Uh, if you uh, do uh, $40, uh, you get a uh, personally signed copy of uh, either Accursed or either one of the Shine Jar books. This is for locals only because we're going to be delivering it to you personally there. For $50, you get a single four to six hour session with either myself or Ross uh, of, a, of a game. Uh, uh, or Karin, actually, also uh, could run a game for you as well. Uh, but uh, you get a, a single session of us guaranteed to run a game for you. For uh, $75... Uh, uh, let's see where I got this. For seventy-five dollars, a custom scenario for your gaming group by myself uh, or Ross. Uh, I seem to be missing something. Oh no, never mind. I got it. Uh, for one hundred twenty dollars, you get a personal five thousand word short story by Ross or myself about any character you choose, and if you fit it into one of the settings that we have control over, we'll make it canon for you. Uh, for two hundred dollars, which you you know collect up from the group or whatever. You can get a home campaign where me or, or Ross run six session minimum campaign for you and your group. Uh, and then for $250, uh, once in a lifetime opportunity to work with real professionals over a weekend to not only learn the craft of game design, but to make a game that can be published as well. So those are just the thank you things that we're doing uh, to, for, for people who are helping us out. But any little wee bit that you can give us uh, to help us offset our expenses. We really greatly appreciate because, well, uh, it's just a fantastic chance for me to get health care. That's a big thing right there. Uh, it's also a chance for uh, us to be in an environment that's much more, uh, let's say, attuned to who we are personally and, and emotionally and spiritually. Also very important for, for our child, uh, Samantha, for her to get a fantastic education, one of the best school systems in the world. So we're really excited about this. And, and any little bit you can, you can throw, uh, if you can share it around as well. And share it with other people. Again, uh, the link is down in the show notes. All right, so uh, I haven't covered that. And that's really the big, big thing I wanted to talk about tonight. And again, your, your support and help for our dreams, massively appreciated. Uh, the other thing I'm going to talk about uh, is, uh, for those of you, uh, our Legends Unleashed News, for those of you who are wondering about the custom or, or special edition version of Legends Unleashed, uh, that's being worked. 
Uh, we actually had a discussion today about it. So it's actually in the works and being developed. Special cover, special art, all that being done. So that's that's going on there. Uh, finally, I'd like to talk about uh, part three, because the scenario that went on longer than I ever anticipated. Uh, part three of what I was calling the Power Surge storyline. Yeah, that happened this weekend, uh, finally. We finished it up, part three. Uh, so basically, the the lads and lasses ended up in this uh, ancient facility with this huge column uh, in the middle of it with uh, power lines and copper wiring and gears and electrical fiery energy of the arc fire. And there's four smaller columns and they sent in a main force in one area and they drew all the bad guys to them, including this very tough... Uh, Prelacy Captain Crusader and uh, and then this other uh, Prelacy Purifier and the main forces. And then another group snuck in on the other side uh, and kind of caught them by surprise for the excellent battle plan, and especially by Ghislaine, uh which is Suze's character. Uh, and uh, at some point they got a hold of the, the command and control golem, which was all the stuff that was also at the Kanuga event, if you remember me telling you about these golems that could you could put collars on children and control them. Well, there was this gargantuan, like, I mean, what is it? Is it around here? Yes, there it is. All right, so this not-so-wee bastard was on the board, all right? Now, just to give you a sense of scale, right? Uh, here's a normal person, right? And and there's him. So he's a really big bastard. And uh, a, um, a minotaur battle master is what he called. And he's under control. Well, they shut off the golem. They killed it. And he suddenly broke free. Now, he's going berserk in the center. He's completely diverted some of the major bad guys, including the Master Archmancer, and there's a huge fight going on. But one of the things that's going on is this gigantic bastard, a war golem, was also down in the main area. And so someone noted that we basically had Pacific Rim in Shintar happening. Mecha versus Kaiju. Rawr. So that happened. And they were all excited about it. It was basically, oh, it was just a bloody mess is what it was. But anyway, uh, they finally killed the Minotaur, but he took a lot of them with him, and it was a mess. And then Netheria happened. That's Esther's character. Netheria just, she happens on things, and things that go badly. with massive holes, and then drug the war golem into the hole. It was bad. And there was actually a wonderful moment with Golden Benny and using the water to keep everything from dying because the main Archmancer guy was going to set off the explosions and make everything explode faster than it was supposed to. And then uh, Professor Rush, which was their engineering expert, they were covering him as he was taking control of everything to keep it from going. There was a dramatic task thing happening. Countdowns and successes, and then finally they won. By the skin of their bloody teeth, if I have to say so myself. There was lots of Benny spent, lots of wounds done. It was an ugly bit of business, but now they have control of the thing, and it's called uh, on the in the special behind the scenes. This is not for like not everybody knows this, but Rangers will come to understand that it's called uh, Silverport Project C. Uh, so there's that. Anyway, that was a bit of fun. Oh, oh, there's a giant shaft full of nothing but Corsarium. Uh, I probably should have mentioned that. Anyway, so that's what happened in the big story, the final power th part three of Power Surge. Please support our big move to try to get to Denver, because uh, wonderful things are going to happen, truly. Uh, and uh, thank you for just all the support you gave us anyway. And uh, happy St. Patrick Day and the peace and the out.